Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Super Tarts haul for you. This order actually came in, I want to say maybe a couple weeks ago, and I just haven't gotten around to it. I actually have two more Super Tarts ha hauls to do. Um, this one is, I believe, an RTS. I'm pretty sure pretty sure this is an RTS from February 24th so if not I'll correct myself in the title and in the description um I get confused because I did do no I think I'm pretty sure this is RTS so I got all these beautiful glam shells oops isn't that oh my gosh they look so pretty <laughs> so I got all these and I'm going to go over them with you here. Um, the first thing is a sample in Joker. I do not know what Joker is. I've never had Joker before. Oh, what is that? It smells like bubble gum. Hmm. Kind of smells like bubble gum. It smells good. Okay. First thing I have. So I did, when I placed this order, I did pick things out of my comfort zone. I've been trying to do that. Um, and if I don't like things, like I do plenty of like trades and random acts of kindnesses and things like that um, to give things to people that they can get use out of and that they'll love. So um, we also are doing a round robin in our collab. So if anything in here I don't like, I'll pass it on to somebody. So first thing is in Captain's Morning and it's pancakes and orange juice. Yeah, this is interesting. I definitely get that orange note. It almost smells like a orange like marmalade though, like an orange jelly. So I think it smells good. Um, it's not like super like, I don't know, dimensional, but it smells nice. Next I have Clark and that's toasted hazelnuts, elderberry, cheesecake, apricot, and sugar cookie. Yeah, this smells really good. This smells like a del delicious, delicious, juicy berry apricot scent. I'm not really getting the toasted hazelnuts. Maybe a tiny, tiny bit, but that's okay because I don't know if I get along with hazelnuts in scent. Yeah, this smells delicious. Super good. Also, guys, I'm just smelling these with you guys so I can show you what I got in my haul. I just, I'm so excited when I get waxed and I just like to share it with you. Obviously, I haven't melted any of these scents before, so don't take my word for it because I don't even know um, what they will be like once they actually melt. So the next is going to be Tormund and it's buttercream, harvest ale, plum, and ginger ale. But if any of these are your guys' favorites, let me know because then I'll know to melt that one sooner. And then if it comes around, I can maybe pick up some more. This is interesting. This is, this is kind of spicy in a different kind of way. It definitely smells like a drink. Oh, I'm trying to pinpoint what it is. I guess it does smell like ginger ale. Um, it's very interesting. I don't know. I think that one might be good for the summer. I don't know though. We'll see if the buttercream is too heavy or not. Okay, I was trying to put them back in the box, but I might get confused. Curiosity often leads to trouble. And this is lemon eclair, sweet amber, and white nectarine don't usually like lemon bakery this smells I don't this was not what I was expecting it to smell like I guess this is very clean fresh and juicy I get a lot of white nectarine I actually don't get a ton of maybe just the eclair part I guess the lemon could be adding like a nice citrus note to it but um I actually really like that one that smells really pretty. Okay, I have Augustus, and this is chocolate orchid, buttercream, sugar cookies, and orange marmalade. Okay, so here's an orange marmalade scent. Yeah, it does smell like a jelly preserve or some type of... Honestly, it's kind of making my stomach turn a little bit. I like the other aspects to this um, clamshell. 
Sorry if you heard Raven. She like sighed over there because I guess I'm like annoying. <laughs> yeah, I like the chocolate orchid. It's really pretty. I think that a lot of people who enjoy like, I don't know, floral like bakery scents would really like this with the addition of that orange marmalade. It's very unique. Um, I don't know if I'm going to love it though. So I guess I'll try a cube and we'll see. I have C3PO and it's Honey Toffee Brown Sugar Cookies. This doesn't smell like what I thought it would either. It's not. I think it's the honey note. It's like quite, quite floral. And it kind of smells a little bit citrusy. It's not as like bakery as you think that this would be, at least when I'm smelling it here. Yeah, this is really interesting. I I think I might actually really like that, but um, it wasn't what, is that, what I was expecting. Okay, I have Nashville, and this is Country Hotcakes, Sweet Berries, Raspberry Orange, and Sugar Cookies. I hope that the raspberry in here is stronger than the orange. Oh, the orange is so present in here. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I was like really excited to try all these scents. Uh, I get a little bit of hotcakes. I don't really get sugar cookie though. We shall see about Nashville. Curiosities, raspberry cake, coconut shavings, island nectar, and green apple candy. This like sounds so good especially for summertime raspberry cake oh it's all um broken so i'm not gonna push it out i guess i like to smell the bottom though i will say a super tarts wax is like quite light um when you smell it on cold <laughs> i guess not a lot of people like that term and so i'm gonna try and think of something else i can say that's not quite as annoying i guess yeah, I mean, it smells really pretty. It smells more like a raspberry sorbet. I think I smell that green apple candy in there, too. But, okay, I was excited for this one. This one's called Baked Roses, and it's sweet berries, sour cream, spice cake, and rose cream. Yeah, this is really pretty. This rose is really beautiful. It's definitely very creamy, almost uh, creamy and powdery. At the same time, you get this like spice in the background. I wonder what sour cream spice cake is. Almost like clove maybe, but it's, I mean, it doesn't smell incredibly strong, but I think that's a really beautiful combination. I don't know if I'm picking up the berries or not. Okay, we have Berry Punny, and it's boysenberry, watermelon, and mango. I felt like I couldn't really go wrong with, with this scent. Yeah, this smells really good. It's, <coughs> excuse me, a synthetic kind of watermelon smell. Mmm, those go so good together. Boysenberry, watermelon, and mango. This smells delicious. Um, I really like fruity scents like that. I probably would repurchase that one just smelling it right now I'm gonna have to do a whole week of just super tarts well it needs to be like a month but okay house of stark and it's coffee of maple sugar I have actually been melting um, some of the coffee scents from super tarts this week and they smell really good they smell really nice they're not like the strongest coffee but they almost remind me of like an iced latte um, both the scents that I've smelled this week Mm, this smells really delicious too. Definitely mapley. Oh, shoot. Yum. Mm, it does smell like maple syrup and coffee. <laughs> Love it. Okay. We have shortcake, strawberry, sponge cake, and kettle corn. I've been trying to branch out into that kettle corn because I don't like popcorn, but this smells good. Smells kind of 
Kind of just smells like a strawberry pound cake with a little bit of saltiness. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's that must be what it is. Okay, we have Doomsday. And it's plum iced tea and lemon. I love this blue, like, pool kind of color. Mmm, that is interesting. It's the plum, I think. Ooh, that's yummy. Okay, I like Doomsday. That's definitely my top five so far. Warm scones. I think I got this mostly because I just love to eat scones. <laughs> They're one of my favorite pastries of all time. Um, but they, I feel like it's like such a craft to make a good scone. So when you find one, it's like, oh, head over heels in love with it. My boyfriend's mom, actually, she used to have a bakery and, um, sometimes she's over, she lives next door. Um, she's over there whipping up some delicious concoctions and she'll bring me over like, um, toffee scones or chocolate chip scones. And like, she makes them so so well they're delicious they have to be like fluffy and buttery and like there's just a certain texture to a scone that like it needs to be <laughs> so anyways this is a blackberry scone berry smoothie mac apple and tres leches leche cake and this smells good I think I'm getting a lot of the Berry Smoothie Mac Apple. There's a little bit of some type of bakery. It's hard to pick out though. I'm gonna be honest, it's hard to pick out. Okay, I got two of this one because I guess I thought it just sounded amazing. And this is Willow. So it's apricot, pound cake, and lavender. So I got two. Yeah, this smells incredible. This smells really good. Mmm. It almost smells like a lavender chamomile pound cake or something. But I love the addition of that apricot in there. Oh, I am so glad I got two of this one. This one is probably actually my favorite. So that's what's so nice um, about trying different scents is that you really get to know like your own like scent profiles that you love. Sometimes it can take a while. Sometimes, I mean, you just like aren't sure, like you think you really like something. When I started my wax journey, lavender was not like, it was not like something I wanted to get. Um, neither was mint. And those are seriously some of my like top favorite scents that I love to melt. I mean, I for sure thought I was just going to be like bakery, like all the way. And I love bakery, but um, I think I love some like herbal minty kind of scents more um and i definitely like fruity too so i think it's so fun to just kind of like experiment and see which way your nose guides you because sometimes it's in a direction you didn't even know you were gonna go okay so willow number one favorite in this order um hitch peppermint key lime and basil this sounded super interesting peppermint key lime basil i i don't know let's give it a go Okay, Raven's still sighing over there because she's annoyed with me. This is interesting. This is definitely, this lime with the basil, it definitely reads very, very herbal, very garden. Yeah, it smells almost like a, like a lime, like, uh, it almost smells like a cocktail. I do get the mint in there. But it's almost just um, combining with that basil being like very like refreshing. Yeah, it smells kind of like a lime cocktail. Hmm, very interesting. That might have to be a bedroom or bathroom melt. We'll see. Stranger Things. I think I actually have some of this still. This is cola, cherry, vanilla waffle cone, and upside down cake. I want to say I have a half bam of this. Yeah, this is super like thick. This is super almost like how you get like that, like the almond marzipan, like that thickness that's in there. That's what this reads like. 
yeah, a very dense like pound cake um, with the cola and cherry in there, but I don't mind this cherry. This smells really good. It doesn't seem like it's overly cherry. Okay, I could be saying this wrong. I don't know what the reference is. Zetamore, sweet berries, coconut, cranberry, pineapple, and banana. This sounded like a delicious like fruit bowl. Something I would love to eat right now. This smells slightly, um, slightly like over ripened fruit. Like it's maybe a drink that's like been sitting in your like car. <laughs> it still smells really good. I wonder what that over ripened note is. Sometimes I think berries can kind of get off, give off that note. Yeah, sometimes the berry notes. Um, it still smells really good. It just smells like kind of like a little bit of like an alcoholic, like fermented note. But it smells really good. It smells just like kind of like the, something fizzy. Okay, step by step, honeydew, melon, cranberry, raspberry, champagne, and sweet berries. I love that there's honeydew melon in here. Mmm, this is this smells really good. Mmm, I first get that raspberry in there. I definitely get a hint of melon. Mmm, this is gonna be delicious. I think this is one of her popular scents, step by step. But I haven't been around super long to know. Um, unexpectedly whipped cranberry coconut whipped cream orange cherry caramel apple and nectarine definitely unexpected <laughs> um let's see how that orange is in there caramel apple that is an interesting note so that's what that front label looks like okay i'm definitely getting almost like a fruit punch kind of scent so i don't know if this is going to be for me and I don't want to melt it and really not like it and then be like, dang, I could have sent that to so-and-so. Mm, there's something really, ref like, refreshing about it, though, too. Is it say, did it say nectarine? Yeah, I think it might be the nectarine. The orange in here isn't bad. So, I don't know. I'll have to think about that one to see if that one's going to be for me. Okay, the, and last one in this order, I'm pretty sure. Did I skip any? Okay, I think that's it. And it, this is called Charlie. And it's cream soda, pralines, and caramel pecans. Love a good cream soda scent. Ooh, this is good. Okay, so there is this praline note, and I think this is the same note. I love this. Oh, gosh. Okay, so... I was a little bit nervous because sometimes I don't want like this like overly like roasted oily like nutty kind of scent but whatever this praline oil is I need more of it this smells incredible there's another vendor that carries something similar and I fell in love with it and I'm hoping that this also smells similar this is delicious I love this okay Charlie definitely Willow that was really good um, step by step was really pretty as well. What else did I really love? Um, yeah, Stranger Things is good. I don't know if it's my top five. Yeah. Okay. Well, these are definitely my top three, I think. Step by step, Charlie and Willow. So I cannot wait to start melting more super tart stuff so I can give you guys a better idea of maybe what you should look for. And obviously, like, I'm not here to sway your decision one way or another to purchase from a vendor. I'm just here to talk about wax because I love wax. And I love watching people talk about fragrance in general. I love watching candle reviews, wax reviews. Um, I love just watching people haul stuff. I watch so many perfume and fragrance videos. Videos. I mean, I watch it all. Celebrity, um, designer, niche. I love it all. So even if I'm not going to buy something, I just like to listen to it. I don't know if anybody else does that, but I drive a lot for work. And so I always 
have the radio off and I'm usually listening to a YouTube video. Um, so if I'm not commenting on your guys' videos, it's not because um, I don't love them and I don't love you. It's because I'm literally driving. <laughs> but I really, really, really enjoy when you guys post content. Um, it's so calming for me too. I don't know. And I love everybody's perspectives on things. So even if like somebody thought step by step smelled completely different, I love hearing their interpretation of what it smells like to them and if it brings back any memories. So I know you guys sometimes share those memories with us and I'm so grateful because I don't know, it's like learning about a little piece of you. So, all right guys, I hope you have a beautiful um, start to your week. Today's Monday. I cannot wait for the end of tomorrow. <laughs> Um, it's, I don't have a day off yet, but my, well, Wednesday is actually going to be pretty crazy. So I guess I can't wait till Thursday, but I hope you guys have a beautiful start to your week and we'll talk again soon. All right.